Chrissy Ann Designs all the time, or at least that's the goal. Hey everybody, today I am going to be continuing my plan as you go month, but today I will be working in my Erin Condren horizontal, setting it up for next week, the week of Monday, October 22nd, 2018. I asked you a couple days ago if you guys thought it would be fun if I did a plan with me using only the new Chrissy Ann design stuff from Michaels, similar to videos by Plan with Lakin and the favorite daughter, Emily, a man with the plans collab. And you guys said yes, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hold myself to only using these stickers and then the washi tape. I've got some of it here. I'm going to do my very, very best to only use the stuff from Michaels, including the washi, with the exception of these music note stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs that I have had for a long time, because this is a very music heavy week for our family. And normally I use the Once More With Love Munchkins, but I'm gonna use the Chrissy Ann Designs notes, but there's nothing in here that really works for that. And you can pry my music stickers away from me for my cold dead hands. I think the other thing I might do is use flags to cover these up because I don't know if the ones in here are gonna fit exactly. So I think the easiest way to do this is a rainbow week because that's how a lot of the stickers really work. I really want to use some of the color themes in this book with like the more like kind of jewel tones and situations. However, if I really wanted to, I would want to use some of the washi from my stash. It's not Chrissy Ann Designs to match that. So I'm gonna set those aside right now. And I think I'm going to use this book as like the basis and do a rainbow week. And I feel like I am going to skip the red because the red's kind of orangey red and it's not really speaking to me but there, there's seven other colors and I think I will go with those. So I'll just, each day will be a different color is the plan, I think. Now there's this rainbow washi tape that I can use to divide the boxes like I usually do. There's also this rainbow planner peach washi tape, but I think I wanna use this one. You know what I think I could do? If I cover this up with white out and use the white, yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I know this is right at the start, but I'm gonna cover these flags up with the white ones that I have from my regular Christian design stash. So I can just cover this up and use some of the date covers. I could probably just cover it up without using those, but I like to block it out so it doesn't show through the washi tape. I think maybe my rationale is even though these aren't from the line, they will be covered up. They're not actually, you know, showing. They're just prepping, they're preparing the area, if you will. All right, I'm gonna start doing some washi taping on this spread. Okay, I've got the washi tape down. I think I'm gonna leave this blank and write something on it. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I'm making an executive decision though. I'm gonna continue to put the three things in here that I have been, my meal planning, my blood pressure, and my weather, but I'm gonna rearrange them this week because I'm gonna use the weather stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs, the, the whole you know collection, but they're bigger than how I usually doodle my weather. So I'm going to, I had just started setting this up like I usually do with a little bit more space for the meal planning, but I'm gonna put the blood pressure on top, the meal in the middle where it's a little bit bigger and then do the weather on the bottom, I think is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna get it set up. I actually have weather through Thursday and meals through Friday. Not because I know what I'm cooking on Friday, but because Friday is the big game in our town where the two high schools play each other and we're gonna be at the football field. So we're gonna just be eating there. Easy to know. But first I need to divide this up for blood pressure.
Okay, I am liking how this is looking so far, but I haven't started doing like monochromatic yet, and that's about to start. So we're gonna start going through each day. I've got a lot. This is my list for the week. It's a busy week. So, and Monday actually is not one of the busy days. I mean, I'm up with a lot of work to do, but not a lot of running around. That comes later in the week. So with Monday, I think I am going to, I'm not gonna fully plan out Monday yet because I'm, it's not Monday yet. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But what I am going to do is get my appointments in for the day, my things going on, and anything I need to remember. And I'll just do that for pretty much any of the days this week. Actually, I lied. The first thing I'm going to do is put on date covers. And I think I wanna use these little doodly blobs because I don't think I'm gonna use them anywhere else. They're not really the style I like to use. So I'm gonna grab out these stickers i think are they clear or are they on white they are on white that'll work so i'm gonna use these stickers and these doodly blobs and that'll be my date covers i think and i think i'm gonna use the silver foil for the numbers since i picked washi with silver foil and i'm gonna try to stick to only stickers with silver foil should i use foiled stickers so let's test this we'll test on monday monday's gonna be a pink day so we'll take this doodle situation lay it here it's my writing <laughs> still trippy not gonna lie like it's not just because it's from michael's like i feel tripped out whenever i see my writing on like any of Kristen's stuff but this is like extra trippy and then here is the foil 22 i don't think that's enough room hold on hold please this is a good test i guess to see how well they peel up they don't peel like to be careful, I suppose, but at least when they're freshly laid down, not too big of a deal. It's gonna take up some extra space in my week, but I can plan around that. Do I like the silver or do I want the black? I'm so indecisive. This is not, this is out of my comfort zone if you can't tell. Oh wait, I know why. It's because it's not the numbers that go with that font. Those are the bubble numbers, hold on. I feel like I don't want the silver though. I feel like I want the black. Yep, that's better. We're going with the black. I'm gonna do this for each of the days. I think I'm gonna throw an October sticker up here as well. This is looking really cute. Again, it's out of my comfort zone, but I'm thinking this is working. All right, so let's start with Monday. The nice part about doing these date covers is that it's going to remind me which color I'm on. So we'll go to the pink. Here's the pink sheet. And the one thing I'm gonna run into is that these puppies don't leave me a lot of space for where I usually put my top priorities for the day and it makes this section a little wider so I might need to do something else there are these little headers here I think I might try something let's see here do important let's try that let's see the handy part of all these stickers matching each other <laughs> So I've got the little clock and little computer icons for, I have to finish my podcast up tomorrow. I have not had a chance to do that yet. So that's gonna be running a little bit behind on Monday and then getting something up for my patrons that day. And that's everything I have on my list for Monday right now. So the rest of it, I will plan tomorrow. For Tuesday, Tuesday is gonna be an all over the place day. So I guess what I will do, I have two things with my kids and two things for me. So I think maybe I'll put my me things here and then do something else for the kids. Cause I gotta figure out how we're gonna like handle this. It's not something I'm figuring out right now, but it's a reminder to do so. Let me use a today sticker. So this is for a meeting I have that morning at 10 and this is for my rehearsal. I'm putting this sticker over here, and even though it's not one of these musics, I only had one orange music left, so I'm gonna use one of these little music strips. And then what I'm going to put in here is that Katie has rehearsal that night, and then RJ has a concert that night. And so it's gonna be an interesting juggling experiment that we have not figured out yet, but I will worry about later. So figuring out that is going to be a priority this week. So Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. 
I'm going to use a butt first sticker. Neither of these are timed appointments, but they should both be done in the morning before I do anything else once I get started on my work day. For this butt first, I have to post my schedule for the following week for my lettering week of the wild the super wild 30 which there are tickets still on sale if you're watching this today they close monday at noon i think pacific time maybe i don't know 12 p.m at some point tomorrow but so if you're still interested for the budgeting lettering decluttering and creative journaling tickets are still on sale but i need to post my schedule because my week is the week after this one and then i also need to get up the sneak peek of the lettering and doodling challenges for my patrons and then I'm going to use this little like nerd looking Steve over here to just put in the information about call time that night for the big game rally that my kid has to be at. We can go to if we want to, but they have to be there at a certain time. And then this is going to be an all over the place looking week, I think. And then <laughs> Thursday, I have a podcast interview in the morning and I have paperwork that is due that day but that's it so I'm gonna get that here and then I'll leave the rest of it blank you know it's funny I started out wanting to use like the stickers from here because these are the the colors and I'm actually pulling colors from the same like color scheme but from all the other books instead not what I expected to happen funny that and I'm thinking coffee cups just seem to be working out great for morning meetings so I'm gonna just do that again <laughs> I think that's upside down. Whoops. And then moving to Friday, which is the big game day, and the kids have no school. So that's the first thing I want to get in here is that there's no school. Maybe I'll put one of those Hello Weekend stickers starting here to indicate that it's a three-day weekend for them. Okay, I am making some alterations. I'm gonna snip this sticker to make it fit. I'm doing something a little different on Friday because since it's big game day, there's a lot going on. I'm not even hating. I wanted to put a football guy there, but the football Steve's did not come in teal. I gotta get some info in here. I had to remind myself to bring our tickets because we have booster passes so we just get into all the games. But for big game, you have to, you still have to pay for it if you got your booster pass, but you have to get a ticket because it fills up. And if you're, depending on what high school you're at, you're not allowed to go to the other side either. Yeah, so it's all of that for Friday. And I think that's everything I need to put on. I can leave a little bit of room here to get some work done. I actually probably should mark on here that she have the kids do their laundry before since they're off that day. I don't know how to fit that on here. There we go. And you know what else I forgot to put on Thursday that I wanted to get on there was meal planning for the following week. I have some stickers that'll work for that in this whole pile of shenanigans. It says meal prep, but I'm just gonna interpret that as meal plan. All right, moving to Saturday, unlike half the other days this week, we actually don't have much going on that day, except I have a patron hangout but I will need to do some chores around the house that day. So I'm not gonna put too much now, but I am going to get my patron hangout on here. And for that, I'm busting out a martini glass, even though I don't drink martinis. I lied, I don't have a patron hangout that day. What am I talking about? Did I get them both written? Removing this, I do not have a patron hangout that day. I actually don't have anything on my, on my, I mean, I think I might have accidentally put it on the Google calendar, but I don't. So I'm just gonna leave this today. Actually, I need to put in that I'm gonna wash my sheets because I do that on Saturdays and I always like to remind myself. I'll leave the rest of it blank. And now Sunday has a lot going on. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did on Friday because I've got a lot of planner related stuff in the afternoon on Sunday. So I'm going to basically repeat the same process. I'm gonna use this treat yourself sticker even though I don't know if that really applies, but it feels like it. And I'm gonna put a little planner, a little wine glass, and that's just to represent that this is one of my usual, I do a hangout and then a live plan with me this next Sunday, October 28th. So be there, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm gonna use this little box right here for church stuff that day. And then I'm gonna put the little football guy here and put big game week. Mm -hmm. 
And I think I'm gonna add some color to this. All right, and I think that that just about does it. This is gonna be an intense week, and I'm doing plan as you go all week, so we'll see, we'll see it happens. I hope that this was inspiring for you. Have you done a rainbow week, or do you like doing rainbow weeks? I would love to know in the comments below. If not, what's your favorite color to use in a planner spread? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.